Hello, Home Club. Um, I'll be talking to you all about television, my journey through content creation for television. So I introduce you guys to the Idiot's Guide to the Idiot Box. Um, I hope none of you are offended, because um, it's just a thing. So I'm Stephen Hakim. I've been, I've been in TV for almost a year now. And I would just like to share my experiences creating. This is for whoever's offended by the previous slide, if you are. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to flash a few TV shows. And we're going to have a drinking game, OK? Those of you who know the shows, just give a shout. Everybody know the show? The one below. Nice. How about this one? Brilliant! Okay, and this one? Okay, you guys need to watch more TV, okay? Uh, next up, how about this one? Thank you. <laughs> how about this one? And the one, and the last one? Okay, um, this side, do you guys even watch TV? Or, um, okay, anyway. So, so I've been involved in two of these shows, and it's been a very interesting journey. Um, just a short introduction before I continue. So I'm Sufyan Hakim. I've been writing for, I started off writing for magazines, um, CNN Go, August Man, Time Out, and then uh, eventually I started my own volunteer uh, initiative called Post Giving Back before I moved into TV, um, working for Random Island and the News. It was, okay, a lot of people come up to me and they ask me, why the hell do I need to know about production? I'm sure, I'm sure some of you are asking, why, why are you talking to us about, t about TV or video production? Why do I need to know about this? I'll tell you why. Whatever industry you're in, TV is going to be the ultimate medium. It's the ultimate visual medium. So production is always going to be part of whatever you do, whether you're in architecture or whether you're in volunteering. And let me walk you through the process, okay? So development and pre-production is the business side of things, where you secure finances, where you hire the crew, where you decide the script, where you decide on your objectives. What are you going to do with, what I'm gonna, with, with this thing you're producing? Whether it's an ad or a TV show about your company, you have to decide then. Then we go into production, where you have principal photography, and where your script is finalized. Your script is the ultimate tool for your, for your advertisement. Okay? This is where all the financing and all the work are built builds itself up around. Um, production is the lengthiest process, followed by post-production. Post-production is where you do editing, where you insert CGI, where you do color grading, which is the difference between a normal photo and a gorgeous shot. And finally, you go into viewing and airing. Um, post-production is, is something for uh, something very technical, so you might want to leave it to the, to the experts. And throughout all this, you have the MDA pterodactyl. The MDA pterodactyl is your worst enemy as a writer. They ca you can't talk to them about anything. Not sex, not family values, not violence. So um, the MDA pterodactyl is, what they do is they swoop in, take your script, and rip it to fucking shreds. And, uh, anybody from the MDA here? No? No, okay, good. All right. So I'm telling you, anybody can write for TV. Whatever you learned in school is the same fucking shit. Sorry to say fucking. Um, it's the same shit. Um, you start with exposition, rising action. Throughout the whole thing, you, there's a buildup of tension. So you move into a conflict followed by a resolution. Remember, conflict and resolution. And if you want to do the, the M. Night Shyamalan or Jonathan Nolan and Christopher Nolan shit, you, you insert a hook at the beginning, a plot twist when, when everything's dying out, and then a payoff, an emotional payoff. Something for the audience to, to go, hey, you know, um, I, I watched this movie for something. Okay, um, my experience, my first ever experience was writing a Malay spoof of Harry Potter called Harris Bin Potter. Thank you. <laughs> and then I moved it into TV. And that's where the fucking MDA director comes in and shreds your fucking script. What the, so I, I, had, I, had a, I had a good script and... And they, they, they said, we need to dumb it down. Not dumb it down. We need to make it more racial friendly. So like Dan O'Shannon says, remember that your job is not to make the best TV you can, but to make your executive producer slash financer slash sponsor happy. Sometimes these two goals are worlds apart. Dan O'Shannon uh, created uh, Modern Family. If Modern Family is a comedy, decide who doesn't watch TV. Um, so YouTube. 
As a writer, I've finally moved into YouTube and it's magic, people. It is magic. I've been writing for TV and again, MDA Teradactyl. YouTube has no MDA Teradactyl. This month, YouTube moved into 1 billion monthly users. So let me compare case studies. S Factor versus Kate Upton doing the Cat Daddy. Do you guys know Kate Upton? Show of hands. Yeah, it's fucking hot. Um, S Factor bombed after one season because they had a lot of ulterior motives. You, you have to appease FHM, you have to appease the sponsors. Um, moving on, sorry. And then you have the Flight, Flight of the Concords and the Lonely Island. Flight of the Concords, HBO special, two seasons, died off. Lonely Island, they did, I'm on a boat. Okay, they did, I just had sex. They did, jizz in my pants. And they ran big, they ran humongous. While Flight of the Concords, nobody's talking about them anymore. Does television have a future with YouTube being what it is? I say yes. Um, for those of you who are in television, for those of you who, who want to bring your companies into attention through television, um, the best way to do this is to use YouTube to market your programs on television, to market your content. Um, and also to match content with medium. The Walking Dead, you want to watch it with your family. Stick it to TV. Jamie, uh, just Jamie, uh, Jamie Oliver uh, Cookshaw. Um, Put it to YouTube, you know, uh, so you can have it on your iPad and leave it in your kitchen while you cook. And finally, daily mix, um, makeup tips. Put it on your phone. Okay, um, that's all the time I have. If you wish to prolong the conversation, this is me. I will talk over Prata, Milo Dinosaur, Milo Dinosaur. Um, Scotch whiskey, I'm Muslim, but don't tell my parents. Um, chocolates and satay, okay? Uh, I'll be around, so if you want to talk to me after this, feel free to do so. Thank you, everybody.